Most of the nation's 968 popcorn farms are in the Midwest states, like Nebraska, Indiana, and Illinois. But there are five popcorn producers in Virginia raising a specialty crop with a wide appeal. One is William Hale. His 30-acre farm, All Farm Organics, is at the end of a shady lane in Louisa County. There are, I think, seven different distinct uh, types of maize, which is the American corn, which was developed originally, is a relatively new crop of uh, maybe 7,000 years or so, was not found uh, anywhere except North America, North and South America, it originated in Central America. Popcorn is one of those seven types, and it's a type of what we call a flint corn. And what makes it unique is that it has a highly elastic, very strong seed coating, which when it has the proper moisture inside the seed, uh, and heat is applied, will expand to a great pressure before it finally releases, and that causes the popping. Hale says popcorn grows well in Virginia. Other than fighting raccoons for his crop, his biggest challenge is preventing cross-pollination. Growing sweet corn or any other corn variety too close by will lead to contamination of his crop, ruining the popping quality of the corn. So he keeps his popcorn patch well away from the other cornfields with a buffer zone of trees and distance. Popcorn needs to be around 12% moisture to pop well. It just happens that at that, at that uh, moisture content, you have enough moisture in the corn, corn kernel to expand a lot, but not too much. And to get that moisture content of 12%, it's very difficult to test it. But there's a wonderful, magical thing that the Providence has given us to do that. And that is, when you harvest the popcorn and you let it dry, when it's able to come easily off the cob, and you take your cob and just do like this with it, if the, if the corn comes off easily, it's right about at that 12% moisture content. Americans consume about 52 quarts of popcorn each year. Despite its popularity at the fair, movies, and other outdoor events, the majority of popcorn is now produced for home use, usually in microwave-ready packets. Hale's corn is usually popped the old-fashioned way. Hale says popcorn is easy to harvest and easy to process. He's an organic grower producing a specialty crop, so it's important to him that popcorn plants respond well to organic fertilizers and all the weeding he needs to do. You know, the real challenge in organic farming is not the cultivation. We've got, I mean, the fertility. Fertility, we've got down pat, and we can go to the moon with that. But the real challenge is weed control. And uh, you get your land real, real good and, and uh, fertile, you're going to have a heck of a time fighting the weeds. I asked a weed scientist once, how much mulch does it take to uh, keep down morning glories and corn? He said, they found that, w that morning glories can go through at least five feet of mulch. <laughs> but, you know, we're going back to times where, like in the 1950s and even into the 60s, where we had some pretty sophisticated weed fighting uh, equipment and, and techniques, and we're coming back to that again. Like many farmers, Hale is a big fan of cover crops and building up the soil. For instance, his composting operation is five acres, large enough that it's another side business. But his passion for raising popcorn is what puts smiles on the faces of his customers. In Louisa County, this is Dave Miller.